Hello and welcome to my second vlog. Uh, I'll meet you in the kitchen. I'm gonna go run over there real quick. All right, so we're in the kitchen today. We're gonna go over what to eat and when to eat it. So let's hop right into breakfast time. Breakfast cereals, really quick to eat, but sometimes aren't nutritious. This right here is Lucky Charms. So those little marshmallows, that's just a lot of sugar right there. You don't want to eat sugar. You want to eat carbs for breakfast. So let me show you what you really want to eat. Raisin Bran Crunch. Two scoops of goodness in the morning. This is what you need to eat. If, if you don't like this, you should go with the Frosted Flakes. It's got sugar in it, but it's a little bit healthier than the uh, Lucky Charms. <clears throat> so, moving on to lunchtime. Lunchtime is when you want to carbo load. You want to eat as much carbs as you can that you would normally eat in a day, but do it during lunchtime. So I'll show you what I have. Up top, I have pastas. I have mac and cheese for a quick and easy meal. And also, I keep pasta on stock. I have six pounds up there. It's right there in that red box. Six pounds of pasta. It takes no more than 15 minutes to put everything together. I keep Ragu sauce ready in the in the fridge. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. And you call it a meal. So that would be your lunch. With your lunches, that's the time when you would drink your sodas. And that's the only time during the day you should drink a soda. Do not drink them in the mornings. Do not drink them at nighttime. Right during lunchtime is the only time you can drink a soda. And you should really only keep it to 12 ounces. <clears throat> so, now... It's dinner time. And what do most people eat during dinner time? A ton of carbs. They'll eat a ton of bread before they eat. They'll eat a salad. Then they'll have pasta, spaghetti, lasagna. No, you want to eat that for lunch. What you want for dinner is this. You want steak, chicken, or pork. As you see, I keep all my meats in the freezer ready, pre-packaged for single meals because proteins are what you should eat for dinner because you will be going to bed in the next five hours so you will not be burning off the carbohydrates that you would be stocking on if you did eat carbs. That's why you eat your carbs at lunchtime so you can burn them off working out, working, just walking around campus, anything. <clears throat> Lastly for dinner, you want to make sure you eat this too. Canned vegetables. Simple, easy. You pop it open. You don't even need a can opener anymore. Pop it open, put it in the microwave, and it's an easy way to get your vegetable intake for the day. I recommend it for dinner time more than any other meal just because it's a better complement to the meats. Also, for a late night snack, if you do get hungry, the best thing to keep is proteins. Don't get a, don't get a sugary snack. Don't get a carbohydrate snack. You want to go for something like this, peanut butter. Make yourself a peanut butter whole wheat sandwich maybe. Anything with peanut butter is good. It's high in protein, fills you up quickly. Sports drinks. Sports drinks in general are not good for you if you're not an athlete. So if you're drinking Gatorades all day long and you're drinking 64 ounces of it, think of how many calories are in a Gatorade bottle. That, that, that's what you should do this week. Go look at how many calories are in your drinks and you will see where your calories actually come from. All right, I'll meet you back at the desk. Ready? Go. Boom. Back. Now, last bit. If you want to hear about anything long related, let me know. I'll walk around campus if you want. Record anything you want to see. Just let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. On Twitter. Instagram. Facebook. No matter what it is. Just let me know what you want to hear. And I will, I will talk about it. Write about it. Whatever you need.